the smart watch for making the cut. You know, the big question after the Phoenix law style four games to two in the NBA Finals is how will we remember CP3? CP3 has quickly become the Patrick Ewing, Charles Barkley of this generation. A guy that gets close, you can say he's great, but not get over the top. This was uh, an important series for CP3. He did not perform well in the last four games. He had critical turnovers in the fourth quarter. You can say it's because of fatigue. Part of it is probably the recovery from COVID-19. Let's not forget he was out for that. But the lose a two games to zero lead, it's happened multiple times with Chris Paul on the team. Now, is it Chris Paul's fault? Absolutely not. Give Milwaukee all of the credit for, uh, for winning the NBA Finals. But we know that a lot of people don't like Chris Paul. They think he's abrasive. I've heard cheap shot artists, which is kind of funny because there was no bigger cheap shot artist than John Stockton. And we classified him as gritty, gutty, and competitive. CP3 is is the same way. We, we should use those same terms, gritty, gutty, and competitive, the way we did John Stockton. But the thing about CP3 is he won't get the free passes that John Stockton got throughout his career. I don't know what his next step is. Will it be back in Phoenix? Will it be a way to get to L.A. to play with LeBron and A.D. with the Lakers? All I know is CP3 is looking at being one of the NBA greats of his time that's going to be without a rank. And in the NBA, more than any other professional sports, you are defined by banners. Unfair? Absolutely. But it's where CP3 is going. And unless he can get somewhere else, because I do not believe that Phoenix is going to be back in the NBA Finals, he is going to retire like Patrick Ewan and Charles Barkley without a ring.